This video is about the axiom of independence. Consider the following scenarios. In the first, a person has a choice between an orange and an apple. They state that they strictly prefer the orange. In the second, they are offered a choice between two gambles. The first gamble is a 50% chance of an orange and a 50% chance of a pear. The second is a 50% chance of an apple and a 50% chance of a pear. They state that they strictly prefer the gamble with a 50% chance of an orange. Compare the two scenarios. The choice between an apple or an orange from the first scenario is mixed with the probability of a pear in the second. Under the axiom of independence, a person who prefers the orange in the first will prefer the gamble with the orange in the second. Mixing those two lotteries, a 100% chance of an orange or a 100% chance of an apple, with a third lottery, in this case a pair, will not change their order of preference. More generally, under the axiom of independence, a person who mixes two lotteries with a third lottery will maintain the same order of preference when the lotteries are mixed as they had for the two original lotteries when presented independently of the third. A formal definition states that if X and Y are lotteries with X preferred to Y and P is the probability that a third option Z is present, then P times Z plus 1 minus P times X is preferred to P times Z plus 1 minus P times Y. The third choice, Z, does not change the preference ordering. The order of preference for X over Y holds. It is independent of the presence of Z. Example of the axiom of independence. Let us put our earlier example into this formal definition. Suppose X is a 100% probability of an orange and Y is a 100% probability of an apple. I strictly prefer an orange to an apple. Suppose there is now a third possibility, Z, of receiving a pair, which will be present with P equals 50% probability. Under the axiom of independence, if I prefer oranges to apples, I will prefer a gamble with a 1 minus P equals 50% chance of getting an orange and a P equals 50% chance of receiving a pair to a gamble with a 1 minus P equals 50% chance of getting an apple and a P equals 50% chance of receiving a pair. That is, if I prefer an orange to an apple, I prefer a 50% chance of an orange and a 50% chance of a pair to a 50% chance of an apple and a 50% chance of a pair. Distinguishing the independence of irrelevant alternatives from the independence axiom. The independence axiom is distinct from the principle of the independence of irrelevant alternatives. The independence of irrelevant alternatives states that if an agent prefers X to Y, the introduction of a third option Z should not change the preference order between X and Y. For example, if you select fish rather than chicken from a restaurant menu, being told by the waiter that there is a vegetarian option should not lead you to change your selection to chicken. The independence axiom is specific to lotteries. The logic behind this specificity is that the outcomes of a lottery are never realised together. They can be treated as independent. In my illustration involving apples, oranges and pears, there is no outcome where the agent receives more than a single piece of fruit. They will receive an apple, an orange or a pear. They will not receive a mix of fruit. This is not the case for goods. Consider the following example with goods drawn from page 2022. You are again in a restaurant and have a choice between chicken with mashed potato and beef with mashed potato. You choose the chicken. You are then told that the restaurant has run out of mashed potato and the options are now chicken or beef with peas. Under the axiom of independence, you would not change your choice to beef. However, beef may go better with peas than chicken. There is an interaction between the two with the options realised together. Due to this interaction, the axiom of independence is less compelling for the case of goods than it is for lotteries.